There's three levels of financial provision in life. One is not enough. It's when you're late on your bills. It's when next phone call you always have on silent because you know who's calling. It's you're constantly, you're constantly receiving those letters and you're, you're not making enough. You're not making enough to make it and you're buying everything on credit card. It's called not enough. It's a very hard life to be in. And then you graduate to level two. It's level of just enough. Where you look at the month, you look, thank God, this month we made it. But God wants to take you to a place where you have more than enough. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. But after he brings me through the valley of the shadow of death, he brings me to the place my cup runs over. He doesn't just want to take you from not enough to enough. But some of you, you're going through the valley of the shadow of death and I have a news for you. If you have a shepherd, he won't bring you to bankruptcy or foreclosure. He will bring you to the place where your cup will run over. Why? He says, God all about money? Oh, of course not. But He is a provider. He is a provider and He wants to provide for you. A lot of times we come to church and we come with a mindset, poisoned, that God wants me to be poor. God wants me always to struggle. God wants me never to have enough. And most likely we heard this thing from two places, our family and the church. In our mind, we come to church and we take Jesus as our savior, Jesus as our healer. But when it comes to our finances, we somehow on the back of our mind convinced it is not the will of God for us to have more than enough. God is against that because see, Jesus said we have to be always poor. And Satan takes scriptures out of the context and poisons your mind. So when it comes to your finances, you will always, not that you will struggle, it's that in your mind you will struggle to believe. He wants to bless you. You work hard but you, you don't believe He wants to help you. The Bible says God gives power to get wealth. The Bible says He finds pleasure in the prosperity of His servants. If God gets a kick out of His servants prospering, what about His children? Somehow God loves His servants prospering and can't stand when His kids prosper. That is from the devil. That's not from God. Bible says the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. The Bible says when the righteous prosper, the city rejoices. You know what the devil wants? The devil wants the church to have a poverty mindset. Because he knows, give hundreds of thousands of dollars to this crowd. Guess what's going to happen? There is going to be operations that will be paid for. There will be cars that will be given. There will be houses that will be given because these people are nuts. Give them money and they'll destroy this, the devil's kingdom in the community. So what the devil does is he poisons the pulpit, poisons the pew and simply says, don't see God as that, this is really bad and just live from enough because he knows he can't advance anything. And then he brings the prosperity mindset to the drug dealers to the dope dealers, to people who sell prostitutes, to people who promote abortions because he knows if these guys don't have money, drugs won't sell. Crime won't spread. Nothing will work if it doesn't have money. So he fills them with the mindset, I want to have all that I can so I can destroy my generation. And the people who can affect their generation, the devil poisons them and says, that's not for you. Shut up and sit down. God wants our city to be touched because righteous prosper. 